Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today we're doing a mod update tutorial for a mod that we've not done in a while, and that's Replay Mod. They recently switched to Fabric, and that means they're on the newest version of Minecraft, which is great. I love to see that. In this video, we're going to show you exactly how to download and install the Replay Mod, as well as give you some resources. It's going to go more in-depth with how to do different things in the Replay Mod. It's going to be a pretty cool video. First of all, though, we do have a smart sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex. Start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We actually love just Apex so much that we have to our own server. Play our breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your very own Minecraft server, check out Apex at the first link down below. The breakdown to XYZ slash Apex to get your server up and running. Nevertheless, though, you're not here to get Apex server, you're here to get replay mod. To do that, you want to go to the second link down below. That's gonna take you here. This is the official replay mod download page. And once you're here, you want to come down and find the Minecraft 1.17.1 version. So as you can see, it says Minecraft 1.17.1 there. Then go ahead and click on the download version. Then it's gonna go ahead and take us off and download right away. So you love to see the replay mod. Mod. So when you click download there on Minecraft 1.17.1, that same line, it's going to download the bottom left. As you can see, it says Replay Mod 1.17.1. Go ahead and keep that. It's 100% safe to keep the file. Now, this is using Replay Mod Fabric, as I mentioned. And so we need to download the Fabric Mod Loader, which you can find linked in the description down below as well. Once you're here, you want to go and click on the Download Installer, Universal slash dot jar there. When you click on that, it's going to download it in the bottom left. As you can see, Fabric dash Installer automatically downloads in the bottom left. Keep it. You may have to save it in the same screen on Mozilla Firefox. There is one more thing we still need to download and that is the Fabric API. The Fabric API is basically an API mod that's required for, you know, the replay mod to work. So go again in the description down below, click download Fabric API, and once you're here, I'm going to go ahead and click on this orange, arrow, excuse me, yellow download Fabric API button. That will take us off to Curse Forge, where on the right hand side, we want to scroll down, find the 1.17.1 version, as you can see, there it is, of the Fabric API. Go ahead and click on the orange download button next to that. And after a few seconds, the Fabric API will download, and you guessed it, we need to keep it on Google Chrome or save it on the same screen on Mozilla Firefox. Keep it in the bottom left, save it, depending on whichever browser you're on. And we can now go ahead and minimize our browser. And if I go ahead and Refresh here, we will see we have the Fabric API, the Fabric Installer, and the Replay Mod. So Fabric API and the Replay Mod are both mods. The Fabric Installer is a mod loader. We're going to be starting with the Fabric Installer. Now, if your logo icons look different from mine, that's okay. I'm going to show you how to fix that. But first, let's see if we can open up Fabric. To do that, you want to right-click on Fabric, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java here. Or I do have Java, click OK, and it doesn't work. Or my icons, like you said, are just broken. Well, in that case, you need to come here and download and install Java for Minecraft mods. Obviously, the Replay mod is a Minecraft mod, so you need this specific version of Java. After you've done that, you want to go ahead and run the jar fix as well. If you're still having issues, this is going to take the jar, jar files on your computer and link them up to Java and make them work all happy together. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser, right click on Fabric, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. So I'm going to go through, download, install, basically get up the Fabric installer. Then we want to make sure that 1.17.1 is selected here, and then go ahead and click on Install in the bottom center. Then we'll come up and say Fabric Loader 1.17.1 has been successfully installed. Go ahead and click OK there, and we can close out of the Fabric installer. Now it's time to get Replay Mod and the Fabric API installed. To do this, you want to click the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. Click on that little Windows icon, type in Run, are you in? Hit enter to open up the run app. And then in this run app, you want to go ahead and type in percent sign, app data, percent sign, percent, app data, percent, exactly like that, and hit OK. That's then going to open up the roaming folder here, where we then want to go into the .minecraft folder. From there, we want to go ahead and open up our mods folder. But Nick, I don't have a mods folder. Well, neither do I. There is no mods folder in here. So again, from roaming.minecraft, there's no mods folder. What do we do? Well, we can go ahead and create one. So right-click, create a new folder. You can tell that folder, whatever you want. I'm going to tell it mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. Go ahead and open up your newly created mods folder. And then we want to take the Fabric API and the Replay Mod and drag and drop these into our mods folder, right like so. So we have the Fabric API, Replay really Mod, they're in our mods folder, all lowercase in the mods folder. That is looking good. Now we can go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. In the Minecraft launcher, we want to make sure we're selecting the Fabric profile. So in my case, right here it is. It's automatically selected. You may have to click this little arrow and select Fabric from there. Once you have that, click Play. But if you don't have Fabric or you don't have Fabric Loader 1.17.1, which is what you need there, what do you do? Well, you come up here to the installations, and first, make sure modded is checked. You can see how unchecked modded, fabric disappears, check it, and it's there. You can then click play if it appears for you. But if it still doesn't appear, what you want to do is go ahead and click on the new installation. Then you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. 
Again, you can name that whatever you want. Why am I naming it that? Because that is our own incredible 1.17.1 grief protected Minecraft survival server. You will love it. If you want the best Minecraft survival server out there, come play on Breakdown Craft. Over 150 players online every single day. Now I want to go ahead and click on the version drop down box here and click on release fabric loader right like so. Now yours may be down farther ways, but make sure it is release fabric loader. And then at the end it says 1.17.1. So release fabric loader 1.17.1 at the end there. Then we want to go ahead and change our resolution. You don't have to do that. I'm just doing that so we can uh, see better once we get in game and then click create. Now we have this new playdownbreakdowncraft.com profile. Most importantly, it has fabric loader 1.17.1 under it. Hover over that, click the green play button, confirm you're playing mod in Minecraft, just saying, hey, you may not be able to do everything, access realms, because you have mods installed. Is that okay? Yes, it is. Let's go ahead and click play. And now it's going to open up Minecraft 1.17.1 with the replay mod installed. Quick, easy, simple, and now you can get the benefits of the replay mod. I'm gonna go ahead, let Minecraft load up, and I will meet you on the Minecraft main menu to show off replay mod. So here we are in the main menu. We can see fabric is in the bottom left. And if we jump into single player, you can do this in multiplayer as well. I always like to create new worlds. So let me do that real fast. And uh, we'll be able to use the uh, basically replay mod. Now we're not done with this tutorial just yet, but the mod is installed at this point. So that part's done. But in order to actually export your videos, you have to do something else. So let's go ahead, load in, create a quick video, and then we'll finish off this tutorial. So here we are in game and as you can see recording is automatically started with the replay mod. Now you can do some really really cool cinematics, really really cool stuff like that and luckily in the description down below you will find this, the replay mod docs, the documentation for replay mod which goes very very in depth with how to do all of this stuff. For example basic controls are all here. As you can see when in replay mode you can do all of this stuff. You have to have to get to replay mode and uh, basically how this works is you just kind of go through Minecraft. Or you just kind of normally go through Minecraft, right? Like so, looking all good, looking all awesome. Let this, I'm, I'm letting this record a little bit, by the way. And then once it is recorded, we can go into a replay mode to check it out. So if we go ahead and we can pause and stop recording. So let's go ahead and stop the recording. You can start the recording here as well. So you can go ahead and start recording. If we go to escape, start recording, it will start another recording. Go through this real fast. We can fly up into the air. Let's fly up to the tip top of this, for example. And then we will go ahead and show you how replay mod works. It's really, really cool. So here we are. We are on top of the world. More of this, by the way, does go in depth in the documentation. So stop recording. I'm going to save and quit to title. But as you can see here, we have the documentation. This is going to be the biggest thing. So nevertheless, though, here, as you can see, we have these files save, or they are saving. Go ahead and click done there. Now to access these, we can go, I believe, into mods. See, with Fabric, it's a little different than it used to be. So let me get one quick second. I'll see how to access those replays. So that was quite the fail. The little button right here next to Realms is Replay Viewer. I swear that used to be a bigger button, and that's what threw me off. But here we have this little button, Replay Viewer. We click on that, and we can see both of the replays. Now, at this point, we can load them. So if we load them, you'll actually be able to see them in game. But what's cool is you can actually do things and move independently of the character. So we can come over here to this side and follow me right right like so and basically do an entire video this way you can also keyframes which means we're going to you know start here and then we can move up towards this area right like so a few seconds in and keyframe there and then we can move kind of to here and then kind of show me moving around this way right like so let's go ahead and do that so boom keyframe there so on and so forth until you kind of have everything worked out right so it's it's uh it's quite a bit but that's okay and that's kind of the point uh, at this point we can still while this is frozen by the way continue to do different things so it's going to come pan out here right like so right bam okay so now we can play this back so we can oh, excuse me we can play this back at least two keyframe positions at the same time are required and two time keyframes. Oh, we don't have time keyframes. Okay, so you also need to add in time keyframes. My bad. Let's go ahead and do that and that. And so now we can go ahead and play this back. It's not going to be the best. I'll be honest with you. It's going to be probably horrible in many ways. So you can see it's moving through here. Now, because of how time keyframes work, technically it's frozen. But this isn't a guide on how to use replay mod in depth. My goal is for you to be able to create like a basic video like this, for example. And then once you've been able to do that, actually be able to, you know, showcase or be able to export your video from the mod. You can fine tune it and learn more about it from their documentation. So as you can see, there is our little video finishing up right like so. So great stuff. Amazing video. 
Beautiful. How do we save it? Well, if we actually go to save and render right now, it's probably not gonna let us do that. So as you can see, I would just recommend leaving all of this the same, should be good. We go ahead and render. It's probably not gonna let us. I'm guessing it might even crash. So as you can see, render failed. You need FFmpeg. How do you do that? Well, let's go ahead and show you. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this, which I believe it is already saved. And we're gonna go ahead and just close out of Minecraft. Right? We're just gonna kill Minecraft. Now let's go ahead and get rid of these files from our desktop and install FFmpeg. To do that, you wanna to go to the description down below to these documentation files. Replay my documentation, it's linked in the description down below, and then scroll down until you see this installing FFmpeg right here. Click on that, and then here we have download the latest FFmpeg release from. Go ahead, click on that, and it's immediately gonna download a zip file in the bottom left. It may take a minute or two for it to download, it's a little bit of a bigger file, but this is going to be what allows you to actually save your videos from the replay mod. So again, that was go to the link in the description down below, scroll down until you see installing FFmpeg, click on that, and then click on this little link, download the latest FFmpeg release from here. Click on that link. Now we minimize our browser, here on our desktop we do have the FFmpeg mod. Now, or not mod, the FFmpeg file. Let's go ahead and right click on that, extract all, and hit enter, right? It's gonna go ahead and extract FFmpeg, right like so. Again, that was right clicking on this file, oops, excuse me, right clicking on this file, clicking extract all, and clicking extract. Once you do that, it's gonna open up this folder right here, right? You're gonna have two folders. You're gonna have the zip file, which can be deleted, and the actual folder right here on your desktop. That's what we want. So once you've got this folder, right? Got this folder opened. What you wanna do is go to the top left of our screen, this little Windows icon, top left of my screen, probably the bottom left of your screen, that little Windows icon. I've already been there. We're gonna type in run, right like so. We're again gonna type in percent, app data percent. So percent sign, app data percent sign, right like so, hit enter. And then we're gonna have our roaming folder. Then we wanna go ahead and open up the dot Minecraft folder. Finally, we wanna take FFmpeg and drag and drop this folder over here into our dot Minecraft folder. And as you can see, there it is. There's FFmpeg now in our dot Minecraft folder. So now if we go ahead and open up Minecraft with Fabric, with the replay mod, we'll be able to actually export any videos we create. So I'm gonna go ahead, open up Minecraft. I will see you once we're in game, got our video reloaded, all that stuff. So here we are on the main menu. We can go ahead and click the replay viewer here. Here is the replay we were working in. We can load on into that. And I believe everything should still be there, I believe. So here we are. As you can see, we still have our different keyframes here and things like that. Um, I am getting kind of this issue where it's, it's occasionally saying joining world. I don't know why it's doing that. I think it's just trying to reload things. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and click on the render. By the way, uh, if, if you ever need your cursor, hit T. Hit T, it will allow you to get your cursor back. Go ahead and click Render Camera Path, and that's gonna go ahead and actually render this out as a video. Again, I would recommend mostly just leaving everything the same and you should be good. Go ahead and click Render, and now it will actually start rendering. This is going to lag my computer a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick jump cut. Until this is finished, I'll show you the final product, and uh, yeah, we'll be all good. So as you can see, the video is now rendered. You can actually upload to YouTube from here, but we're just gonna open the video folder, and it will open it up right like so. By the way, this is in your .minecraft folder that we found earlier, replay videos. Boom. So let's go ahead and click on this and you'll be able to see, this is the video we created, right? As you can see, it's gonna go ahead and kind of move throughout the world. So there we go, boom. That glitched at the beginning, by the way, it was my doing because I don't understand replay mod too much, but you can see it moving through here, moving around the world and then moving up and around. Any cool Minecraft cinematics you see, by the way, usually recorded with this mod in some way. Even some of the ones that we have all the breakdown craft install or recorded with this replay mod. So really cool stuff there. Absolutely love this mod, the best Minecraft cinematic mod out there, and now you know how to use it. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Again, the documentation for this is in the description down below, and I cannot encourage you enough to come here and go through this. It talks about the time keyframes, it's something that I messed up in this video. It talks about position keyframes, different keyframes in the timeline, how rendering works, different rendering options. I said leave it all the same. There are cases for changing that, and it goes over it all here. So that is all important, and this video would be two hours long if I went through every single individual thing. But thank you all so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Enjoy the replay mod. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Come play with us on playthebreakdowncraft.com and I will see you in the next video. I'm out. Peace.